This video covers the load cell use case of the Shockwave Engineering IoT ecosystem. The system measures the output from load cells and transmits the data to the cloud where the data is logged and can then be retransmitted to other platforms. For example, feed supply companies know when to deliver feed and milk collection companies know when to collect milk or how to plan their route to optimize the capacity of their tankers. Load cells can be used to monitor the level of feed bins, diesel tanks, and milk bulk tanks. One load cell is placed under each leg, and the output of each load cell is combined to provide a single reading. Any silo with individual legs can have load cells fitted to it. Monitoring these systems allows a continuous log of the level and the rate of use to be generated. In the case of diesel tanks and feed bins, Having the level and rate of use allows new deliveries to be planned well in advance. This helps prevent running out or over-ordering and not being able to fit the delivery into the tank. In the case of feed, the supply companies deliver in fixed batch sizes and it is not possible to return mixed feed if it does not fit into the tank. Any feed that cannot fit into the tank is dumped onto the ground and then has to be manually fed back into the system which is very labor intensive. If the farmer runs out of feed, it's always guaranteed to take place on a Friday afternoon and results in a weekend crisis. To install the system, the feed bin is jacked up using hydraulic jacks. This should be done when the feed bin is empty. Once the feed bin is jacked up, then a load cell is placed underneath each leg. Here's the load cell over here. Once the load cell is in position, the silo is lowered down onto the load cells. The bolts that hold down the silo are then extended to allow for the additional thickness of the load cells. Once the load cells are installed, they are wired up into a junction box and then connected up to a load cell amplifier, such as this unit over here. The Shockwave Engineering Edge device then reads the output from the load cell amplifier and transmits the value to the web server using a GSM connection. No Wi-Fi hotspot is required. This green line shows the mass in the feed bin when the feed bin is filled up initially and then stepping down every morning and every evening during milking, then stepping up again when it's refilled, then stepping down again every morning and evening, and then a third refill and stepping down.